Hi, I'm making this video to discuss how Christian conservatives have almost always been on the wrong side of history. Yes, Christian conservative confederates. So you can see the election of 1860, Abraham Lincoln. And you can see he is in the red. And which states vote it red? Well, they were the North and the West. And which states were against them? The Confederate states, the conservative states. Now, parties have flipped, basically. But what has always stayed constant is conservatives, like the Southern Conservative Confederates, were on the wrong side of history, fighting for slavery. Now, my wife says we should have let them secede from the Union and just freed the slaves and let them come up north and west. Maybe that would have been a good thing with how crazy they are now, still learning nothing with Trump. You can read the comment here. You can pause to read it if you want. And here, they are still racist because they tell them to just dribble. They say it's about the anthem. They say, do it nonviolently, BLM. So they do it nonviolently at games. Before the game even starts, oh, you're disrespecting the military. Nothing to do with the military. Then they do it online on social media. They say, stick to sports, just dribble. They even have hack women like Laura Ingram and the Phyllis Shafley type, Phyllis Shafley. They find some women who are oppressed from their religion. So let's go on. Again, here's more on the uh, states. So again, the parties have flipped, but what hasn't changed is conservative versus progressive or liberal. Now let's look at the election of 1920 for women's suffrage. Again, the red are what would be considered today's progressive liberals. And I'm not even biased. I'm a libertarian in most regards for smaller government, but facts are facts. And the fake hoax-believing cafeteria Christians have been on the wrong side of history again. It's embarrassing to them, and they still think that they're on the right side. They say the Democrats, as in apply, implying it's the liberals who were for slavery. That's what they teach them. So, as you can see, who gave women the right to vote? Well, it wasn't the southern states. Here's the election of 1928, a few years later. And Roosevelt, and this is where everything kind of switched, is what I was talking about. The blue and red kind of switched. But here's more on the 19th Amendment, women's right to vote. What were the states that were for and against it? I'll show you in a second. Here we go. These are the states that gave women the right to vote, which should have always been the situation. And here were the states that were against it. Southern Confederates want to control women, gays, blacks, still, or they still have want to do that. Animals, animal cruelty, look up factory farms funded by our taxes. They were opposed to it adamantly. Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, even Maryland, Mississippi, South Carolina, Tennessee. These are the states that held back progress and are sexist. Women who believe in Southern conservative values are oppressed like Phyllis Shafley. And then many of them voted for Trump after uh, feminists got them the right to vote. Pathetic. So who has been on the wrong side of history 
from animals to women to civil rights, conservatives, Southern conservative Confederates and cafeteria Christians. So vocal when it doesn't matter, like birth control and gays. So quiet when it's important. Actually, the opposite. They oppose in many cases. A source in Cyclopedia Britannica, not a partisan hack source either. Just like I said, I'm a libertarian, really for small government, but facts are facts. The fake cafeteria Christian GOP do not really want small government. They want to control others, from birth control to animals to women rights to gay rights. Gays who they hate, who pay all parents tons of welfare in many forms to overpopulate. So there you have it. This is when they kind of switched. Around the time when they switched. <laughs>